Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and I resell clothing online on Poshmark and eBay. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm pretty new too. <laughs> this is only my fourth video and I'm so happy that you are here. I would love for you to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. I have a lot of ideas that I'm excited to share with you. Today, I am in my car. I am on my way to the post office first. I've already been to the unit to pull my orders and I've got those packaged up. So we will get those to the post office. I have a return to take to Goodwill. I had two items that I got in my last Goodwill haul um, that when I got them home and I was processing them, I found flaws, um, pretty big flaws that I am shocked that I missed. So thankfully I can take those to the Goodwill and uh, with my receipt, I've got the tags on them and uh, they will give me a refund. It will be a store credit. So let me know in the comments, does your Goodwill accept returns? Um, ours does for any reason. Within, I believe it's within 30 days. So there is, there is that time cap on it. Um, but yeah, so I'm thankful that I get to take those back. I will use the store credit. And I think today I am going to browse the men's section. So I was watching, and I, I cannot remember the video, um, but I was recently watching a video about what the top five niches on eBay are for this coming year, 2023. And men's clothing was in the top five. So I would really like to expand. Oh, and there's Amazon. I don't remember what it is. Um, what is this? Okay, it may have been something Jonathan ordered. I'm not sure. Jonathan is my husband. Um, speaking of Jonathan, I hope to have him on um, a video here to meet you guys, one, and two, um, to perhaps give you some advice on taxes. So my husband, Jonathan, is a CPA, and so that has been super helpful um, in managing my business, and he will be able to share with you um, some information about your taxes, maybe some things you haven't thought about, some expenses you could take that you haven't been. So I would love to do a video with him in the near future. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in something like that. For those of you who are new to this channel and didn't catch my first video, I own my own private music studio business for the last 10 years. Um, and so I do have quite a bit of business experience, which has been very helpful transitioning into reselling full time. The last thing that I plan to share with you in this video is what sold over the last 36 hours since I made my last what sold video. If you guys are enjoying the what sold videos, I would love to hear from you in the comments what what you're interested in um, hearing me talk about. I While I have a lot of ideas for like tutorials, educational stuff, I would love to do what would help you the most. Um, so please let me know in the comments, are you interested in seeing the what sold videos? Is that helpful for your reselling business? Um, are you learning something? Would you uh, prefer the vlog style videos? Let me know what you think. I am very interested to know. I'm new to this whole YouTube thing. Um, I have two YouTube channels that I've had for many years. Neither of them were channels where I got on here and spoke. So this is very new to me and I'm excited to connect with other members of the reseller community. So don't be afraid to uh, shoot me a comment down, down below, subscribe, like the video. I would love to connect with you. So thanks so much for coming along with me. Let's hit the road. I thought that while we're on the way to the post office to drop off these packages, I, I would like to talk a little bit about what does it take to be a successful online reseller. And this is going to be kind of general. Uh, ju this doesn't necessarily just apply to clothing, uh, but I, I would like to talk about three to four qualities that are super important if you're going to be successful in this business. Number one, discipline. Um, working for yourself is a totally different ball game. If you've never done it before, um, it, you need to be very self-motivated. You need to be disciplined to create your own schedule and you're accountable to no one but yourself. So a lot of people aren't used to that takes a little bit of adjusting to what my recommendation to you would be 
if you're just getting started in this business, is to establish small goals for yourself. Meet those goals and then compound them. Don't try to bite off everything at once. That is going to be overwhelming and it's likely going to set you up for failure because you're going to get discouraged and you're going to think it's way too much work. The second thing that I believe it takes to be a successful online reseller is adaptability. Um, what do I mean by that? When you're reselling, you need to be very open to a wide variety of possibilities. So what I mean by that is what's selling now may not be selling good in a few months. What's selling good now maybe didn't sell good last year or next year. So you need to be able to pivot, change your approach, and constantly be willing to do market research. Run your comps, check what is actually selling, don't pick up trash brands, watch other resellers and what they're selling. Um, it's not like you can just go to the thrift store or the bins and pick up anything and be successful. So you need to be very selective about what you're picking up and especially if you are new. If you're new to reselling, I would say get your get your goods at, at just the absolute cheapest possible. Don't take the big risks with stuff at the regular Goodwill unless you know what you're doing with running comps and you know for sure you're going to get a good flip out of it. Because you don't want to dig yourself in a hole at the very beginning of your business. That is a disaster. So remember that you are in this whole business so that you can make money and so that you can make more money than you did doing what you did before. Whatever field you were in or wherever you came from, um, my hope for you is that you will be uh, successful and make smart choices. So I want to kind of focus my channel on helping people understand what it takes. Okay, the next thing it takes to be a successful online reseller, it takes work. A lot of people don't realize how much work it takes. It is hard work to be an online reseller. Um, a lot of people think, oh, I can make so much money doing this. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And they don't realize all of the processes that it takes for a person to get there. All of the daily tasks, all of the consistency. Consistency is an, um, another uh, quality that I was gonna talk about too. Um, but yeah, you need to be willing to work hard. Um, and you can't be a reseller if you're not willing to put in the work to get to the goals and the results that you want. Consistency is another thing that is very necessary if you want to be a successful online reseller. You need to have a consistent schedule that is based on an assessment of your goals. It, depending on how much money you want to make, right? Depending on um, how much time you want to take off. And this is all going to factor in things such as how many listings are you doing per day? How much money are you making per week? How often are you going to source per week? How often are you cross-listing? These are all things that you're going to need to end up creating a consistent schedule for if you want a consistent income. Um, if you want a consistent income, then you need to consistently work. It doesn't work any other way. Um, so that is super important. Hope this was helpful for y'all. So we are now to the post office. We'll get these things shipped and then we will head over to the Goodwill. All right, guys, welcome back. I just finished dropping everything off the post office. So with it being December 29th, is that right? I think so. Uh, with it being December 29th, I thought I would talk also while we're on the way over there a little bit about my goals for 2023. So, in the new year, this is big guys, but I am planning to do it. I plan to make six figures reselling in 2023. That's pretty cool to think about, and I think it's possible. That's what's so exciting. I am planning to use this channel to help others and to help myself with accountability through the journey of getting to six figures next year. I 
I just transitioned into a full-time-ish fashion of reselling in June of this year. But I have been reselling for three and a half years. So I, I am experienced. I just haven't been doing it all day, every day. I would really like to make some bank next year. So, I look forward to documenting this process with you guys. Get doing some vlogs, doing some haul videos. Again, let me know what you're interested in seeing. I would love to help you. I would love to help people through this channel um, because reselling has helped me so much. And um, it, I love the freedom that comes with it. I love, sorry guys, I'm cutting my head off again. I love the freedom that comes with it. Actually, I'm gonna go straight here. Um, I love the freedom that comes with it. I love the creativity, the resourcefulness. Um, I feel like it's just a really good fit for my personality. Um, you know, some fields you get into and you're just like, this is like not at all um, what I signed up for. I am an introverted person. I need a lot of alone time. And every day I have to spend half my day on with people one-on-one, -on -one, children, not to mention just people, but children who are very high energy and uh, demanding, sweetest little things, right? But I couldn't do it anymore. Um, okay, in, in addition to my evenings being gone, but you know, that's a, that's a whole nother video. But anyway, reselling is nice because it's so flexible, anybody can do it anywhere, any time of day, and you can make money anytime or all the time or sometimes. Like, I got out of the shower today and there was a sale or two. I'm like, hey, I'm making money while I'm literally in the shower. Although, okay, I made the money when I did the listing, technically, but you get what I'm saying. It's kind of cool that this platform is 24-7, um, right? and millions of people can buy from you and you don't even have to sit there and babysit it. You, you don't have to put in um, an exorbitant amount of time for the return and that is really, really cool. Um, and we're living in the information age so this is just a huge boom. E-commerce is just, it amazes me um, and so I'm really, really glad to be a part of it. So back to my goals. Um, in 2023, I hope to make six figures. Wow, I just said it. All right, I said it on the YouTube channel. It means I got to meet the goal, right? So next month, January, I will reach my 30th birthday. And um, that's, I feel like that's going to be a really good time to uh, make these big goals and just crush them. So, so happy to have you guys come along with me. All right, guys, we've made it to the Goodwill. And let's go in and get this return done and then see what we can find. Okay, thank you. Hopefully we'll find it on the way out maybe. All right, hi guys, I'm back. Um, so I went into the Goodwill and I used up my credit and I found um, three really awesome pieces. And I am so sorry that I did not film while I was in the Goodwill. So this is totally my fault, but my phone was almost out of charge. And so I didn't want to, I, I didn't want it to go dead um, while I was in there. So I just didn't really film. But now that I'm in my car, I can charge it. So we're all good to go now. So I found a pair of men's bonobos pants. Um, those are uh, pretty expensive new, and I just sold a pair of them just a few weeks ago. Um, and I only had to pay $5 for them. They're like new condition. They are the men's um, uh, weekday dress pants and it says like Thursday embroidered and I'll post some pictures up here. So yeah, it says Thursday and uh, so I should be able to get 35 to $45 for those. I only paid $5. The next thing I got was um, actually two Toad & Co pieces and it's not um it doesn't say Horny Toad it says Toad & Co it's the newer uh brand so they used to go by a different name now they're Toad & Co it's a really good brand to pick up one is new with tags 
and the other one is like new condition. So it's a t-shirt and then a uh, pair of men's pants. So I was really happy with all three of those pickups way better than uh, those two items I picked up that had flaws and holes in them. So I'm really glad that they took my return and I'm excited to get these listed. So I'm going to head back home and then I'm going to discuss with you what sold over the last 48 hours on Poshmark and eBay. All right, guys, before we do the what sold video, I wanted to show you what I got at the Goodwill. Check out this new with tags Toad and Co. t-shirt. Um, I believe it's a men's and it's an XL. Keep good company, it says. And yeah, brand new with tags. Paid $5 for it. Also found these. Toad & Co. pants, size men's, 34, I believe. Let's see, where is that thing? Yep, men's 34, and these are the Mission Ridge Pant Regular Fit. Toad & Co., guys, um, I don't find it super, super often, but it sells really good. Really good brand to pick up if you've never heard of it. Here's the back. So $5 on that and still has the rip embroidery from the tag. So they basically have nowhere. So I'm really happy with that pickup. So those are two Toad & Co. Probably came from the same person. Next, here is the pair of Bonobos pants. It is like this really nice grayish color. Uh, I don't have great lighting in here, so I apologize for that. But these are a men's 33-32. Again, Bonobos is a very expensive brand. Sold Nordstrom. This is the weekday series. And like I said, I just sold a pair of these Bonobos pants in a khaki color a few weeks ago. And they sold in like a couple days. Paid $5. So let's talk about what sold on Poshmark and eBay over the last 48 hours. First on Poshmark, I sold this pair of Gap High Rise Wide Leg Crop Jeans in olive green. They are size women's 14 tall, and they are new with tags. Um, so these sold for $30, and uh, they were listed on May 5th. I had picked these up at a regular Goodwill for $8. Was not a good decision, wouldn't recommend you do that. Even though I did make a profit, um, I think they sat for too long. So if I saw these new with tags anywhere, it'd have to be at the bins for me to pick them up next. I think $8 was too much to invest in those, but hey, uh, I still over doubled my money, so not upset about that at all. These Gap, green pants are on their way to San Francisco, California. All right, on to the next Poshmark sale. I sold this L.L. Bean long sleeve flannel button down shirt in red, size men's large. Um, this would li was listed on January 19th and I had picked it up for $4 at a regular Goodwill. I was very surprised actually about how long this sat, but um, made a good profit on it and uh, happy to get that moved out. This L.L. Bean red flannel shirt is on its way to Cuba, New York. The next thing I sold on Poshmark is this pair of Levi's men's 5'11 slim fit jeans, size 28-32. They sold for $27, and these were just listed on November 9th, so that is a great turnaround, about a month and a half, and they are getting out of my house, and the money's going in my account, so perfect. These Levi's... 511 jeans are on their way to, mm, I'm going to butcher this, Carpinteria, Carpinteria, California. Next thing that sold on Poshmark is this new with tags, a pair of Fabletics high-waisted sculpt knit open work legging in phantom black, a size women's medium. Again, new with tags, sold for $30. Now, the new with tags price on these was 70 um, and I got an offer for 30 and, uh, I accepted it. So picked those up at the bins, listed on, listed them on November 7th 
and they are already out. That is a great turnaround, about a month and a half. Very pleased with that sale. These black Fabletics new with tags leggings are on their way to Section Alabama. We've got this top man oversized panel t-shirt in a multi navy size men's XXL. Now top man is a Nordstrom brand. Honestly, that's why I picked it up. Um, it wasn't a wise choice. So it just doesn't really sell very well, guys. I would not recommend you pick it up. I paid $4 for it, sold it for $10, and it sat since February 4th. It's horrible. Don't do that. Don't pick up that brand, okay? Um, it's just kind of surprising since it's a Nordstrom brand, and I think it's pretty, pretty expensive new. Um, but yeah, don't recommend it. Um, I made like $3 profit, so definitely not worth it to be sitting since February, but hey, it's out of my life now, so that's great. This Top Man t-shirt is on its way to Toma, Wisconsin. On to the next sale, I sold this Victoria's Secret Body by Victoria Perfect Shape Bra in Black, size 38D for $20. This was a Ben's pickup and it was listed on June 14th, and I am really happy with that flip. Again, guys, like I've been saying with the bras, there's another one, $20. Pick up the bras at the bins. This bra is on its way to Lake Worth, Florida. The next thing I sold on Poshmark was this Soft Surroundings Serene Wide Collar Waffle Knit Stripe Top, size women's medium. Now, this was listed yesterday. Let me make sure. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, this was listed yesterday and it sold today. So less than 24 hours, because it sold like earlier in the day. Um, picked this up at a regular Goodwill for $4.70. Softer, soft surroundings tends to be a really good brand for me. Um, you want to pick up the newer pieces if you're going to pick it up and you want to make sure it's in good condition, but that brand flips really well. Um, this sold for $29 in less than 24 hours, so excellent turnaround time. I'm really pleased with that. The Soft Surroundings top is on its way to Edwardsville, Illinois. This is a uh, Catherine's Purple Sweater. It has a split shawl collar and it's a size women's 5X. It is new with tags. Um, I picked this up at the bins. This sold in one day also. Again, guys, with the brand Catherine's. Like I said in my first video, I sold like that knit sweater poncho thing. Um, I have a 100% sell-through rate with Catherine's. Guys, sold in one day for $29. I picked it up at the bins. Do not be skipping out on Catherine's. You could be making quite a bit of sales with it. Um, again, this video is being made on December 29th, 2022, so if you watch this way into the future, you, you know, of course, look at, look at comps for that time period, but if you're watching this currently, um, I, I definitely would recommend that you, uh, pick up Catherine's plus size brand. Um, I don't even know if it is, like, in existence anymore, so that may be another reason why it's popular, but... Um, yeah, highly recommend you pick up the brand Catherine's. This Catherine's sweater is on its way to Exmoor, Virginia. Sold this new with tags, Calvin Klein brown, single button front blazer, size women's 12 petite. This sold for $32 and I picked it up at the bins. So about a, a dollar or two into it. Really pleased with that. Listed on October 19th, about a two month turnaround. Um, I find, guys, that the brand Calvin Klein can really surprise me sometimes. Um, if it's new with tags, I often will pick it up because people are really looking for that kind of career professional wear, um, and they've actually got some really nice quality pieces. Um, so maybe, maybe consider picking Calvin Klein up at the bins if you have never picked it up before. It... Um, it can be a good mover. Now, when you when you write your descriptions, I would definitely recommend that you put in stuff like, um, you know, career wear, business professional, classy, classic, um, you know, just kind of, kind of words that will help the right people find it quicker. This Calvin Klein brown blazer is on its way to Savannah, Georgia. 
The next thing that sold are these totes. Again, guys, another pair of totes boots in a matter of a couple days. This pair of white totes, Eve Furry Snow Boots, size women's seven and a half. They sold for $22, and they were listed on November 15th, sold in about a month and a half. And that was a Ben's pickup, so just a couple dollars into it. Really pleased with that sale. And those totes boots are on their way to Valley Village, California. I sold this Chico Zenergy Velour hoodie top in classic navy. It is a size women's XL. Sold for $22. And this was a Ben's pickup listed on April 15th. So I was kind of shocked at how this did not move as fast as I thought it would. Chico's Zenergy line, if you ever see Chico's, look for Zenergy on the label. That line tends to move better for me than like regular Chico's. Um, but I, I do tend to move Chico's tops that have like a really cool print or something like that on them. Those tend to move pretty well. But especially Chico's Zenergy, if you find it the bends, you know, maybe run some comps. Um, it, it's worth a look up. This Chico's top is on its way to Durham, North Carolina. I sold this Universal Thread Chunky Knit ruffle cardigan in charcoal size women's 3x so universal thread is a target brand uh this sold for 18 dollars. i picked it up at the bins and i listed it on october 25th so that sold in about two months not bad i found these universal thread chunky knit ruffle cardigans at the bins and when i found them i found like 10 of them, one gray, a bunch of orange rust ones, and I just like kept finding them in different bins and I'm like, okay, this was obviously all um, dropped at the same time. Um, all new with tags, so I was like, even though these are heavy weight, um, I can still make some money off of these. And so I, I picked up every single one I found. I've sold two or three of them so far um, and they're they're all plus size, so very pleased with that flip. This universal thread cardigan is on its way to Tacoma, Washington. So that is all my Poshmark sales for the last 48 hours. Let's go ahead and hop over to eBay, and I'll let you know what sold there. On eBay, I sold this pair of men's Polo Ralph Lauren striped cargo shorts, size 36. They are new with tags. And I picked them up at the bins, so a couple dollars into them. They sold for $25, and these were listed on October 29th. So, they weren't listed very long at all. That's a great turnaround. New with tags, Polo Ralph Lauren. Um, yeah, and actually, correction, these were not listed on eBay on October 29th. These would have been cross-listed to eBay only within the last couple weeks because I've only been on eBay for a couple weeks. So that's pretty fast. They were listed on Poshmark on October 29th. They were listed on eBay in just a, a couple weeks ago. So I'm very pleased with that. These new with tags Polo Ralph Lauren cargo shorts are off to Alpaha, Georgia. Excellent sale. Let's move on to the next one. I sold this Free People Casual Clash Top. It's like a thermal knit balloon sleeve top, kind of a boho, bohemian style, size women's medium for $32. Um, this was listed and sold the very next day. So this was listed Tuesday and it sold yesterday, Wednesday, for $32. I picked it up for $4.29 um, at a regular Goodwill. So I'm really pleased with that flip. Free People tends to be a great brand. Look for the newer stuff, newer labels. Um, I probably wouldn't pay more than, you know, five or six dollars for it unless it was like a really, really um, expensive piece, maybe like a leather or a, a really, really nice dress or coat. Um, but yeah, Free People is, um, it's it's sold. So it's sold at the mall. They've got their own free people store but it's also sold at Nordstrom um, it's also sold probably at Saks um, I don't know I sometimes I find it in very interesting places but 
Um, yeah, so be on the lookout for the brand Free People. They've also got some kind of uh, other tiered lines. Free People Movement is their activewear line. Um, Intimately Free People is like their lingerie line with their bras and uh, pajamas and stuff like that. And then they have um, We the Free. That is also under Free People. And all of it's owned by Urban, Urban Outfitters, if you never heard of that. Um, that's all kind of in together so and this free people top is on its way to Bushkill Pennsylvania the next item I sold on eBay is this wooden ships coffee beach repeat crew neck sweater size women's medium large all right guys this totally shocked me this sale just came out of nowhere I mean I picked this uh, wooden ships up for the first time this sweater um, I had heard of wooden ships before, but I never found it. Um, I just picked it up a few days ago, listed this yesterday afternoon, and it sold in about an hour or two for $70, guys. What? Uh, I paid $4.70 for it at a regular Goodwill, and it sold in a couple of hours for $70. I had it listed for $75. I got an offer for $70, and I accepted this sweater is currently on the Wooden Ships website right now, and I believe uh, the MSRP is really high. Um, what did I put? I put it in the listing. It's always nice when you find those really current pieces. Yeah, it's 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 for sale for $130 on the, the website right now. So that person got a good deal for me, but, but I got a really good deal too. So that was awesome. I'm really excited about that sale. This Wooden Ships Coffee Beach Repeat Crew Neck Sweater is on its way to Wyandotte. Am I saying it right? I, probably not. Wyandotte, Michigan? I've never heard of it. W-Y-A-N-D-O-T-T-E. Let me know if you know how to say that. All right, let's move on to the next sale. I sold this Torrid Soft Henley dress, floral, um, it has a floral sleeve, short sleeve dress in blue. It's a size women's 4X. Um, I picked this up at a regular Goodwill for $5.59, and I sold it for $22.57. That was listed on November 29th, so that took almost exactly a month to sale to sell sold yesterday again torrid is a very consistent bread and butter brand for me this tour address is on its way to dallas oregon next i sold this pair of men's nike running live strong shorts they are black and yellow size men's large uh this was a ben's pickup paid a dollar or less for them listed on november 7th flipped in about a month and a half for $25. This was an outright sale um, on eBay. So rather than the buyer sending me an offer, I um, I just received a notification that said, you've sold this. So they, they hit the, the buy now button on the listing. So that's always exciting. And for a pair of shorts that's super lightweight that I got the Benz, I love it. This pair of Nike men's running shorts is on its way to Clifton Park, New York. I sold this pair of American Eagle mom shorts. They are in it. They are cuffed and they are a vintage wash size women's four and these sold for $24. Now this was also an instant sale. Someone hit buy now. So this was not an offer. So that was a Ben's pickup paid about a dollar for them flipped for 24 uh, listed on November 7th. So very pleased with that. And this pair of American Eagle Mom shorts is on its way to Brooklyn, New York. So that is all my eBay sales. Um, I am super pleased with having that many sales in the last 48 hours. I'm very thankful to have those sales. Um, on that note, I am going to go ahead and end the video. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope that this was helpful for you and uh, please like and subscribe if you're interested in this type of content and you want to see more content from me. All right, happy new year.